When you have a process in the line balancing in the Timer Pro, you can generate a storyboard for any of the tasks in your process. To do so, you simply point at the task descriptive at the bottom of the stack of activities. You hit the right mouse button and you select the option here called Storyboard. Single click and it will generate the storyboard outline for you directly in here. Now what it's doing here, if I make this smaller here, so we can see both the, uh, the process in the background and the storyboard that's being created here. You can see here uh, my sequence of events in the process are insert component, insert LEDs, cover with ESD tape. And what it's done here, it's created, here's the insert component, that's the first thing it's dumped into the uh, storyboard. Insert LEDs, and further down you'll find cover with ESD tape. Now what's happening here is it's taking it in sequence and it's creating an area in the storyboard where you can start customizing it here. So if I make this full size again, you'll notice you've got the activity description, the time, whether it's value added or non-value added. And you've got a video link here. You can actually click in here and play the videos directly back from the storyboard so you can see what's going on in there. Uh, we've got the time here. Now what's happening is the time for the video is 9.2 seconds. And this has been rounded up to, to a play time of 10 seconds. So this step is going to play in the, the storyboard for 10 seconds. To the right here then we start getting the various components in your storyboard. So you've got, uh, these are the different sections. So if we go here, you can see the storyboard design has an activity. Put anything you want in here. So you can put pictures and notes in here. You can insert descriptive in here and the time is going to go in here. These items uh, with the braces around them, the activity here and the time here, those are keywords in the storyboard. It's automatically going to insert the values in there. And those values are inserted here for the activity. It will, of course, be the descriptive over here. The insert component will go there. And for the time over here, it's going to pick up the value you have over here in column B, 9.2 seconds. That's going to appear in here when we run it. These other areas where we can put anything you want in here and also insert your descriptive text here. Uh, those are the areas where you can put customized uh, items in here to make the storyboard more visual and more rich for the end user's experience here. And further out to the right, we have another section. This is a section that's hidden behind the video. So actually in the storyboard, there's another section behind here that you don't see. And this allows you to put like still images and so forth up on the storyboard at any point in time. And maybe there's some operations that don't have any videos. You can just put a few pictures together and put them in there. Or if you don't have any videos at all, you can delete the video and just use an area here for pictures. And out to the right here, you see I actually have the company logo. This is our logo. And you can see that is going to appear here. That's just going to be a fixed st station here. Just by making the single click, all the information is in here. And it'll actually run if we go right now to the storyboard and just click on the play here. And what it's going to do is going to bring up the information it can, insert component, the step time down here in the video. Obviously, we haven't customized anything else in this area at this point in time. And it's going to start moving through each of the steps in the process in turn. So this right now, this is going to play for 30 seconds here. And then the last section will come up here. So I'm just going to let the video jump ahead a little bit. And you'll see that here. Okay, the video is going to change in a few seconds here. And you see it comes up with the last element covered with ESD tape. And it starts playing that in here as well. And there's the time for this right here. So what we've done here, we've just made a single click from our line balancing in the Timer Pro. It's created a storyboard you can immediately use. Now we're going to show you how to add additional rich content to create a truly customized storyboard for all your needs.